Hello from brothers and sisters, did you know that Christopher Nkunku is the best Chelsea player in FN24 with a current ability 162? So guys, in this video we are going to check hidden things of all the players, I will show you the best tactic for Chelsea, we are going to do a uh, transfer guide, I mean we are going to sign some players, yes we have a transfer budget of zero, but still we are going to do some things, so let's start with the transfer guide. So I will show you some players that you should be able to sign in the winter transfer window because at the beginning of your save you won't have money. I sold only one player, that's Thiago Silva uh, to Newcastle for 6.7 million. Why? Because he's 39 right now, he's losing physical attributes, he's not ready to play serious football in FM at least, in real life I don't know, maybe he can still, yeah. So this is my short list of some players that you should try to sign. First on my short list is Miguel Gutierrez, he's 22 years old Spanish and his price is 35 million, uh, really a fantastic passing technique for a wing back, crossing 17, this is what Chelsea needs, yeah, plus he's very young guys, still didn't reach his full potential, uh, physical attributes also great, I don't see a real weakness, fantastic complete wing back. Okay, second on my list is Harvey Elliott, why not, price between 54 and 67 million, I mean I didn't show you but now I have transfer budget of 57 million um, after only half of the year, yeah, I sold only one player but I got money from the games and some other things, yeah, 57 million is really enough for all these players, I mean for some of these players. Uh, then third on my list, Alan Velasco Argentinian, uh, he's wanted by Fulham, he's playing for Dallas the best thing price between 5 and 7 million, that's a joke, I mean uh, I want him because he has great dribbling and the best thing about him guys, it's his potential, 166 current ability, 141, really adorable Argentinian wonder kid and uh, I'm sure that he would fit in Chelsea squad. Uh, then fourth on my list is Kanzen, German wonder kid, another really young fellow and another cheap fellow, Price between 7 and 11 million, unbelievable flair, technique, dribbling, and the best thing about him potential 164. Can improve a lot, very young. And the last on my list is Asan Quadrogo, uh, another German wonder kid, another fantastic player. Uh, check this jumping 16, uh, determination 16, price between 27 and 33. He's playing for Schalke, but really worth of buying. Don't need too much, try to sign him. Uh, we see that uh, his potential ability is 176, this is wow, I don't know what to say about this Asan Quadrogo, one of the best uh, wonder kids in um, FM, that's for sure, and someone who is going to score many long shots, someone who is unbelievable in the air, and he's still playing as attack meter or CM as Allah, best role. When we were speaking about tactics, it was really hard to make tactics that will work with Chelsea, I don't know why, it's really hard to manage them, I mean, uh, if you want to win the title, this is uh, what I want to say, uh, so I was using something like this, and this was my first team, Jackson, Stanley, Gallagher, Palmer, Fernandez, Saicedo, Chilwell, James, Benoit, this is C and Sanchez on the goal, yeah, uh, there is one good thing, we were second place, didn't win the title, but still, 88 points, 6 loses, 4 draws, 28 wins, this is great with Chelsea, to be honest, Nicholas Jackson, 20 goals in the league, also not bad at all, I mean, he's a good striker, but he's not that brilliant, because his finishing is not great, composure also not great, uh, movement is terrible, check this, only 9, so this was the main problem for Jackson, if you're gonna use him as a striker, I was using him as a striker, okay, if we check all the players, we're gonna see that actually Jackson scored 23 goals in uh, 35 games, 4 assists, Great season for him, Cole Palmer, I really love this guy, I don't understand how Pep Guardiola let him to Chelsea, he's a future of English national team and he's a beast if you're asking me, unbelievable finishing, first touch technique, great balance, nice speed, he can play in many positions, yeah that's another plus for him, and he uh, scored 15 goals, 7 assists, great season, Sterling 15 goals, 6 assists, also not bad season for uh, Rahim Sterling, yeah, uh, then uh, we see that 10 goals, Nakunku, the best player of Chelsea, uh, he scored 10 goals, 8 assists, not bad season for him, average rating 7.15, uh, also good season for uh, uh, Mich uh, Mikhailo Midrik, I mean this Ukrainian winger is a uh, good player, I mean, I don't know what to say, he has some unbelievable attributes like speed, uh, like strength, great determination flair, but technical attributes are not good for Chelsea, to be honest. Oh, technique only 11, uh, we see that the other technical guys also really poor long shots, 10, I don't know, I don't know what you think, also mental attributes are not brilliant. He did okay, 9 goals, 7 assists is just nice, 
Uh, Connor Gallagher, seven goals, three assists. Uh, I was expecting more from him, and this is why he didn't play too much too many games. Uh, and so Fernandez, five goals, five assists. Uh, we see that Ben Chilwell had actually 12 assists. This is good. Uh, ben did really well. Okay. Reese James was expecting much more from him. Nine goal, nine assists, only one goal in 39 games. Yeah, he's, in my opinion, he's one of the best players at Chelsea in FN24, but still didn't play that good. Especially, I was expecting more because he has crossing 16. I don't know. Okay. Uh, so, now let's check all the players and their cur current and potential abilities. At the beginning of this video, we spoke about current and potential abilities. So, we see the best player is Nakunku, but this, there is one problem. He's injured at the beginning of the season. Yeah, we see unbelievable technique. Free kick taking 16. Yeah, he must take free kicks. Dribbling superb. I don't know. He's 25. He's really adorable. He came from Leipzig 60 million. Yeah. Uh, then, Rhys James with the current ability 161. Uh, we spoke about him also crossing 16. I was expecting much more in my tactic. Didn't play that well. And so Fernandez, Argentinian beast. Uh, current ability 158. Uh, some adorable long shots, passing, technique. You need to give him individual instruction when you put him in the first team to shoot more often. Why not? With his long shots, he's going to score many goals. I mean, maybe it's not a bad idea sometimes to use him as attacking mid through because, just because of these long shots, because of these passing skills. He can do many things, yeah. Uh, also, didn't reach full potential. We see his potential is 174, so still can improve a lot. Uh, then, uh, Moises Saicedo, uh, Ecuadorian, one of the best players also. Unbelievable physical attributes, great tackling. He's a ball winning mid or CM, uh, but more defensive player. Uh, he won't create too much things, but still he won't lose too much ball because passing is 15, vision is 14, this is not bad. He's a team player, really good player. Uh, we see his Current ability 156, potential 185, guys. <laughs> He's going to improve. If he gets this potential, I, I I don't think that he will get, but he can get like 170. He's going to be a real monster, yeah. Okay, and then we have Thiago Silva. So I sold him in my save because he's 38, physical attributes terrible for serious football. Maybe if you are playing with a low defensive line, maybe you can use him. Because if you play with a hard defensive line, you are you are destroyed. With this speed, he can't get anyone. Yeah, Ben Chilwell, current ability 155. What to say about Ben Chilwell? Uh, not bad player at all. In real life, I was expecting much more from uh, when he came to Chelsea from Leicester. 56 million for a left back was really big money. Okay. Wesley Fofana, injured. This is a problem, guys. Yeah, uh, he's injured 10 to 11 months. I mean, he's a really good central back. Uh, very fast. I would use him always because of his speed. Also nice in the air. Not bad tackling, not bad technique for a central defender. Uh, as I said, problem around 10 months injury. Terrible. Then Connor, uh, next player on this list. Superb mental attributes, technical attributes could be better. Uh, stamina nice, natural fitness nice. He can run a lot. He's a classy ball winning with three, yeah. Uh, he's 23. I don't know that he's... I'm not sure that he will get much better attributes, but still can improve. Potential 164. Axel this is C. I like this kind of central backs also. Very strong, uh, not bad speed, really good in the air. Only problem maybe technique is poor for a Chelsea, but for other clubs, so, I mean, it's adorable. Uh, then Chabola injured to seven months. So many injuries. This is a problem. Ben 8 also... Uh, two to four months. I don't know what to think about this. Okay, Jackson current ability 147, potential 162. We spoke about him. If you're going to use him as a striker, there is a problem because his composition is 12. His movement is like a tree. I don't know, like uh, he, he's not moving at all. I <laughs> just put him in the box. Movement of the ball is only nine for a serious striker. This is really terrible. Okay. Uh, Cole Palmer, you need to pay attention to him. Why, guys? Because he's really wow. In real life, I really love him. I mean, in FM, superb finishing, superb technique. If he's going to play this inside forward, you st uh, let him stay narrow. He's going to score many goals, like in my save. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so here you can check all the players, their current and potential abilities. Uh, but let's check, check the uh, youngest players and their potential. There is Romeo who's uh, also very good player, guys. Roma has potential 164, current ability 134. If he gets this potential, I don't know, he's going to be a beast. You can improve his technical attributes. I would work on that. 
uh, because his mental attributes are really wow uh physical attributes except jumping also nice good let's say good but technical attributes must be better if he wants to play for chelsea uh, malagusto is there 20 years old uh also can uh, improve superb speed technical attributes also not that great um then colville is there there with the potential 170 uh, he's playing in real life to be honest so a uh, very uh, fantastic composure uh, this is important nice speed i don't know, maybe you should use him in the first team uh, that's my opinion also because with this potential wow okay uh dan cole palmer still can improve noni madueke potential 165 uh injured three to four weeks superb dribbling okay uh, as i say the potential 185 we spoke about him jackson still can improve all the players there is one good thing chelsea has really a lot of young fellows and this is what i like yeah uh, most of these players can improve and this is great now let's see loyalty who is the most loyal player uh we see the tenso fernandez is not loyal at all uh, i mean only two this is terrible i don't know he's very young guys uh, i don't know why they give him loyalty uh, loyalty only two uh, loyalty only two is terrible really uh, we see that ziesh is there uh, romo is uh third with the loyalty eight uh, the most loyal player that's uh Mikhailo mudrik uh this ukrainian player his loyalty is 20 the maximum possible kepa is very loyal benoit is very loyal uh, marcus Bettinelli, but uh, tiago silva is loyal so these players are the most loyal controversial players the most controversial ends of fernandez he's not loyal but he's controversial great <laughs> and let's see important games who likes important games that's noni madueke and kunku likes important games uh Colby likes important games malo gusto fofana Riz james also uh, all these players like important games but there is one overpowered player and that's the kunku check this consistency 16 important matches 16 this is why he's totally overpowered player and the best player of Chelsea with the current ability 162 unbelievable also another player who is a bit overpowered that's Rich James also great consistency great important matches uh then Chabola also really good uh so these are the most uh, the players with the best hidden attributes let's see who doesn't like important games uh Robert Sanchez doesn't like but in Ali Chilo doesn't like important matches only 10 okay and consistency who doesn't have consistency uh marcus botanelli not the Madureke, only nine consistency wow nicholas jackson 10 consistency this is not that great okay now let's check under 21 squad do we have some interesting players there with a the high potential yes there is one angelo brazilian winger on loan at strasbourg already a classic dribbling but check his technical attributes this is terrible superb uh flair superb physical attributes but technical is really poor i mean you can improve that because his potential is 177 you need to count on him then andre santos also good potential another brazilian uh he's on loan at strasbourg also uh third is casade with the potential 160 uh, cesare italian uh, mezzala not bad potential to be honest uh washington david washington potential 159 another brazilian um golding is there with the potential 159 but really poor current ability michael um michael golding is i don't know and ugo chukku uh lastly ugo chukku yeah uh we see he's okay player 19 years old can improve 158 this is not bad potential so uh we have some really interesting kids there and if we check on the rating squad do we have some interesting kids there actually we don't the best is uh travis akuma 70 years old this is good potential for uh maybe championship for premier league yes if he gets this potential but he won't get the full potential i mean uh, mostly he won't get technical attributes <laughs> the worst i ever saw in my life yeah and uh bonnie face is there but this is not bonnie face from leverkusen this is the other frankie uh with the potential 141 but i don't see some really quality kids in uh this squad under 18 but under 21 is much much better
Also, we are going to check team dynamics. We see there are three team leaders. I saw Thiago Silva. This can cause some problems if you sell James or Sterling. Then you're going to have only one team leader. And then your team is going to be in chaos. You, you should not do that. Yeah, I mean, you need to keep James and Sterling. That's for sure. Then Ben Chiller with a high influence. Only one player with a really high influence. That's Ben Chiller. You need to count on this. Yeah, this this, this can cause some problems. Squad harmony is really important, guys. Okay. Um, now let's check uh, what the board is expecting from us. Club Vision. And the most important thing uh, is uh, to qualify for the UEFA European League required. Yeah, I mean, with this team, you should do that. I have a second place you saw in, in this save. Uh, I was trying to fight for the title, but it was impossible to win the title in the first season. Okay, I reached the later stages of the FA Cup. This is not that important. Okay, <coughs> also, um, need to... You're gonna improve the stadium, that's expand the stadium. So this is also nice from the board. Uh, Wage budget, of course, uh, to grow the club's reputation. This is and increase commercial revenue required. This is very important. Okay, and now let's check the hidden things. Let's check club reputation 8,350. The maximum is 10,000. So, yeah, Chelsea is one of the famous, the most, the most, um, the, the most famous clubs in the world. And this is why they have really good reputation. Um, minimum club attendance 25,000, maximum 60,000. Uh, then facilities, stadium capacity around 41,000. Stamford Bridge, of course. Uh, then uh, training facilities, the maximum possible. Youth facilities, the, the maximum possible. Junior coaching 19, youth recruitment 18, corporate facilities also 20. So, Chelsea has unbelievable facilities. Uh, when you get the money, invest in youth recruitment, get this to the 20, to the maximum possible, because they deserve this also. Before we check how many trophies Chelsea won, it would be really nice for me to subscribe, uh, hit the like button, guys. Yeah, and thanks for watching, of course. We see the Chelsea won Champions League two times. Yeah, remember these glory days. English Premier Division six times, Club World Championship one, uh, European Cup two times, English FA Cup eight times, European League two times. A Sky Bay Championship, this is not that important for us. Okay, Carabao Cup five times. So, Chelsea has really long history. Chelsea has some really interesting team. And it's really great club to manage in Football Manager 2024 in FN24. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you and bye-bye.